Hello and welcome to On the Food Scene with Steve. I'm here in Bethel, New York, right across from the original 1969 Woodstock event, which is now turned into a wonderful arts venue called Bethel Woods. And across the street from there, I am in the Catskill Distilling Company and the Dancing Cat Saloon. And I'd like to introduce Stacey Cohn and Monty Sachs, who are the proprietors of this brand new venue. What a beautiful job you folks did here. Oh, thank you. I'm very excited about it. So tell us a little about what is involved in the property. I know right now we're in the tasting room. Right. This is the tasting room for the Catskill Distilling Company. Uh, we've just come out with our first product called Peace Vodka. Uh, obviously, uh, we're, we're, peace has to do with where we are. We're across the street from the 1969, where it all happened. And it, that was all about peace. In the state of affairs of the world now, we'd like people to think about that. And we're, uh, we're in that. Um, Agro-tourism. Yeah, what is that about? Tell me about that. We're a farm distillery, so uh, all of the products that we make, when we make distilled spirits, are made from New York State products. And that allows us now, with a new law called the Farm Distillery Law, to sell directly to the public and to sell to retailers. So other liquor stores and restaurants and bars in New York State and anybody with a license, mm -hmm. and eventually out of state. Now let's move over to the Dancing Cat Saloon. I was most impressed when I walked in there when it first opened. I said, This looks very familiar this far. And I said, Did this come from Connecticut? And you said, Yeah, it did. And I said, It comes from 500 Lake Street. <laughs> and not originally from Connecticut. I am. I'm from Brandon. Okay, so you used to hang out from what I hear, Stacy told me, in the uh, 500 Lake Street. Absolutely. So you went and you saw this bar that you're looking for. I said, You said that you're looking for a bar that had a fit a certain personality. And you went to this was it a foreign auction? We were we were looking for a local bar, but we ran out of time uh, because the, 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 the restoration of the building was ready for the bar. So we went into the city, and from the city, they, uh, somebody recommended uh, there was a place if we wanted restaurant equipment. There's a great restaurant going out of business, and from there we found out it was this landmark 500 Blake Street that he was well familiar with, and he had you know. And the bar was built in New Haven in the early oh, 1800s, 1890s. And what's most interesting is that you told me the great granddaughter of the builder now lives up here in Sullivan yeah. County. That's right. So this bar has got roots up here and in New Haven. That's right. So there was a New Haven connection for this bar that was spectacular. That's right. And it was a surprise. We got the bar back here and we found out that the great granddaughter lives about 10 miles from the site. That is great. Yeah. And your menu in there is some good, that's quite a quite a, Tell me a little about what types of food you're offering on that. And the names of some of your items yeah. are terrific too. Yes. Uh, we, well, we, we want to be a, a saloon. We want to be a comfortable community, but very, very good food. So we had a lot of fun with the menu. We have things like Crosby stills and mashed potatoes. Uh, we have the Hendrix hamburger. <laughs> uh, and then we, we get some upscale stuff there too, but we with our customers, we come up with names of uh, performers that were in uh, at the Woodstock Festival, 1969. And speaking of performing, you invite the local community visitors to get up on the stage and we, perform. Yes, yes, I say we, we are all about music, art, uh, community, and history. And of course, great distilled spirits. Yes, and that's one more thing about this distillery. You're going to be open to the public or are open to the public, yes. of course. Yes, uh, as of right now. Uh, we had our grand opening last week, and we're putting together the uh, the schedule for that. But yes, our, this this bar, by the way, is from the 1939 World's Fair in, in Queens. City, in Queens. Yes, that came out of a Borscht Belt hotel that burnt down about uh, 20 years ago, and in renovations. So the bar was saved and wound up, and we restored that. So this went from the New York City World's Fair right. to a hotel to up Lake here. Jeff Hotel in Jeffersonville, to in Sullivan here. County, to here. Wow. Yeah. For those folks that want to learn a little more about this phenomenal facility, what is your website? Uh, it's, we have two. It's uh, dancingcatsaloon.com, mm -hmm. and then you can also get on Facebook, which is where I can actually get on a type late at night. And then we have uh, Catskill Distilling Company. Dot com. Dot com. Correct. Right. Well, from Bethel, New York, I'm here with Monty Sachs and Stacy Cohn at this beautiful facility. Take on a, take up a visit here. You're going to be in for a real treat. For On the Food Scene with Steve, I'm Stephen Fries.